girlfriend. <laughs> relationship now Bobby if you actually pick this man you are a plastic filled buffoon let's talk about it Hey, what's up, Hampton Nights? It's your boy, Hampton Spears. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Bobby, I Love You, per episode six. All right, so let me tell you, Grandy is a clout chaser, a gay for pay clout chaser. Bobby, he is not gay. The man is not gay. He's not bi. He doesn't like men. He is using you. He is using me. He is using other gay men to build up his wealth, honey. You, he's not. No, 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 no. I have a very good straight dar, okay? A good straight dar. Basically, if I find you attractive, the dude's straight. I find Grandy attractive, and guess what? The dude is straight. I can tell it he's not getting no uh uh I don't give two fucks what y'all say. Grandy is not bi, Grandy is not gay, he is gay for pay. And Bobby, you are one self-hating queen for you to sit there and think that's hot. You should have sent that fool home immediately. But let me let me let me let me guess. You have no self-respect. You have no self-respect and you're a thirsty buffoon for a pretty face and a nice body and a good ass. You know what Poison said, never trust a big butt and a smile, honey. Don't trust him, he's using you. And I think you know this, I think you know this, Bobby, but you hit to the game. If Listen, if you just want a hot piece of ass, just say that. Just say that, just say that. But look, if you're really here for love, you need to get rid of him, okay? Like for real. Now, let me tell you who really does love your ass. Crouton. Crouton really likes you. He is really nervous when he's around you. You can tell. That's the guy that you need to pick, Huddy. But guess what? You won't. You won't. You'll probably pick Jameson, Andre, or um, <clears throat> Hercules. That is so stupid, Bobby. It's so stupid. But you go through these hoes' phones. First of all, I don't blame Soul and other people for not wanting you to go through their phones. I don't blame I don't blame them. I, I I wouldn't want you to go through my phone like that. And it's not necessarily like I'm hiding anything. It's like the audacity, right? Just because we're in a relationship together does not mean you own me. You don't own me. I'm still my own person, and privacy is a very important thing. So I, I'm with Soul and I'm with Andre and I'm with <laughs> what did Crouton say? Crouton! You go talk about how you your family got an NDA and your family be texting you and you can't. That's why Bobby can't go through your phone. Now, I'm sorry. Crouton has this sob story about everything. He has these weird outlandish stories. I don't even. I'm just like, oh, my God. And it looks like I'm seeing it looks like I think he hurts himself in the next episode with his shoulder. I mean, I'm just like, oh, my God, this guy is a fragile time bomb. Um, you need to go ahead and get rid of him too because you're just wasting this fool's time and he looks like he's really going to be crushed. So just rip the band-aid off real quick before he gets more and more feelings attached, okay? If this is a real show and you really want love or are you just trying to get money and more fame and cloud off of it, Bobby, which I think we all know the truth. We all fucking know the motherfucking truth. But anyway, Soul doesn't show him the phone and the Soul goes home. Soul goes home, he doesn't show him the phone, okay? And um, guess who else doesn't show him the phone? Andre, Andre doesn't show him the phone because he's like, I don't, I, I don't blame Andre for showing him the phone. I don't, I don't blame him for not showing him the phone. And um, let me say, Andre has really um, grown on me this episode. I said, oh, he is fine. At first, when I first started the show, I was like, oh, Grandy, Grandy, Grandy. But me, I'm like, Andre, Andre, Andre. At least Andre likes men. Okay, and you know what I mean? At least he's trying to be authentic. He's actually been with Bobby before and you can tell that he actually likes Bobby. Same with Jameson, Island Boy. You can tell they're like, Andre and Island Boy are fighting. Like they are fighting for Bobby's love and attention. So Bobby, if you want the masculine types, go for those two. Fuck, fuck Randy, fuck them, fuck them. And guess who else doesn't show their phone? Dingling. Dingling. Well, actually, no. Dingling does show his show his phones. He shows them they're physically there, right? But <laughs> three of them won't turn on. Okay, they're they're dead magically, mysteriously. And then he has one that works. And guess what? There's nothing 
on it. Nothing on it. And I'm like, what? But guess what? Bobby picks him. Bobby still, Bobby still lets him stay. He gets a light. Oh, and guess what? He has six kids and five baby mothers. But you're keeping him in the house. You a damn fool, Bobby. Now, it looks like um, <laughs> the handler, Davion. Now, see, Davion is the Arion Curry of uh, Bobby, I Love You, Purr. It's a person that's not even on the show. That is the main plot line of the show. He's friends with some other people in the house, and he's been texting other people and having communications with them and all this stuff. Bobby ends up picking up the phone to call the nigga, and Bobby, he doesn't answer the phone. Uh, and Bobby's like, what the fuck? This dude didn't answer the phone. He a op, he a op, da 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 and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. So Bobby, Bobby, that's an enemy. If you you know if Bobby and Davion see each other at the club, I, I think um, Bobby will run up on him. I hope he shows up at the reunion. Please show up at the reunion, uh, Davion. That would be good. Davion, he's not a very big man. Um, I think uh, Bobby could take him. Plastic filled and all. So Big Burr, you know, they go through Big Burr's phone. I guess there was a picture or a, a video of Big Burr sucking an ex's dick. Okay, um, you know, that that was going on. The whole thing was just so funny to me. When I was like watching that scene, Bobby, the way he was like, looking at people, hand me your phone. Mm-hmm, going through this shit. Um, Freaking uh, Jameson, what is he, when he gets the phone, uh, he, all the messages with Davion, he said, he deleted all what he said, so it just looks like Davion is talking to himself. You know what the fuck you do with Jameson. But guess what? Bobby still keeps him. Bobby still keeps Jameson, a.k.a. Island Boy. He has this in the motherfucking bag. If I had to pick, Jameson is going to win. Island Boy is going to win. I need to stop saying Jameson. Island Boy is going to win this show because he's just done too much shit. And Bobby just keeps taking him back, keeps taking him back, keeps taking him back. Hey, you know, that's what it is. That's why Andre and him go at it because Andre knows that Jameson is the real competition, honey. Jameson is the real competition. He's the one you gotta beat. He's the man in charge, honey. He's the man in charge. I don't know what else really to say about this episode because that's really all that happened. We go through the phones, Grandy has a girlfriend, Bobby dumped that bitch, and we need to like, we, that's how it needs to go. That's Bobby, I love you, Purr is a good show, but Bobby, you are perpetuating some of the most toxic things about the gay culture in which we just will accept anything in terms of like a straight, attractive straight man or attractive man and just take us over and whatever. And we're just a sucker for masculine men. You are proving everything. You're proving everything. And Bobby, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are not a good gay person. I'm just kidding. I thought you're not a good gay person. You don't stay on code. That's what you need to do. You need to stay on code and be and be 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 a uh, try to be a role model to the younger gays because you know younger gays are watching this. You need to show a good example and not be a fucking thirst bucket for these fucking gay for pay straight men, Bobby. I can even look and see that this man is straight. You want to share the man with with the girl? And by the way, is it just me? Or the girl was not even that pretty. The girl was not pretty at all. And she was a little chubby. A little chubby. So, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. So, you know, well, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe Grandy is gay or bi because he could really pull a more attractive woman than that. Child nod, I'm confused myself. It, right? Doesn't it seem like Granny could get a more attractive girl than that? Come on now. He could. So I'm just thinking, huh. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? Let me know what y'all think. Do you really think Grandy is gay or bi or whatever? Do you buy his story or do you really think that he's straight, gay for pay, and using Bobby for clout and getting his OnlyFans subscriptions? Anyway, y'all, that is all I have for this episode of Bobby, I Love You, Purr. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell button. Ding! So you can be locked into when I upload on this channel. And I'll see you on the next what? The next video.